and decline. Okay. So for we yesterday we discussed about uh, what is service days, what are the different IT services, roles I didn't discuss, but it's okay. That's our point is what is service days. Okay. So what is a service provider do what customer and what is service desk? What is service desk analysis? That part we discuss about a ticket. Okay. And already I shared two links about a ticket customers. OK, and what is a service test? Again, what is a service test is intended to provide a single point of contact, meet a communication needs of both user and IT employees. The customer, user or a client is don't know if they got any issue or maybe if they require any information, if they need to uh, request for any changes or uh, any access permissions, OK, so they don't know to whom exactly they have to contact. So what they contact, they will contact a service desk. What service desk will do? It provide a single kind of point of contact. It is a in between user and IT employees. IT employees means the people who are providing. The troubleshooting issues, the entire team. Okay, what service desk will do so it will provide initial support to the customers understand customer issues or requirements provide information to the customers escalate issues and uh, ticket management like uh, how to create a ticket how to raise the ticket monitoring the ticket closures of ticket everything satisfy both customer needs and it providers uh, objectives managing sls monitoring these are the things. OK, so yesterday also we discussed about a. Different things like what is event alert incident workaround problem and change service request. And different uh, ticket kind of stuff depends upon organization. Different type of tickets are there. Just I'm giving only three type of tickets. Incident service request and alert kind of tickets. And also we discuss what is SLA, OLA, UC and service desk levels. And also there is a one important question that is. What is service desk analysis will do? And already I told guys this is a. 25 uh, help desk related questions. I don't know whether you read or not. OK, so you can go through these questions. OK, like this. You can just uh, read the questions and answers. OK. So try to understand that's it. OK, because it's a main important questions. So like this is a uh, my Google site. I have created this Google site. Already I shared these links to you. OK. Yeah, this is. I have copied from this Guru 99 only at the 25 questions I kept here only. Next in this one. Service desk levels. And SOP information is also there. And this is service operations. Like event alerts. Incident management uh, request fulfillment access management. Problem management. These are all comes under this one only. And the type of service desk is also available here and ITL. This is instant management uh, guide. This also I have taken from the BMC. OK, what is incident management? What are the steps you have to follow with the incident management kind of stuff? This is a, some reading material. So when you have a time, just go through it once. Yes, I we discussed last class about event alert incident workaround problem changes service request. I want to explain these things in a detailed manner. OK, in detail plus we are also going to uh, see uh, about a monitoring and uh, other few more things. OK, few other things today. So today is a uh, 19th. 
compulsory guys. It is a compulsory question. What is service desk is compulsory question. Okay. This picture I will forward directly picture wise. I will forward. I have taken a screenshot of that one. Most of the PPT content uh, have collected uh, some content. I collected some content. I uh, have made it so. Discuss about internal and external customer kind of stuff. So from here it is. It's a small from here it is event. So what is an event? Any detectable occurrence that has a significance for IT infrastructure management. So for example, you have a transfer data or maybe you paid an amount. So what you will get a transaction successful. I'll show you certain events from the event manager in my system. First of all, so this is an event viewer. Type event viewer in a search box or run command is also available. Go to Windows logs. You can see in my system. Think like this in my system. So many things will happen, right? So when I connect uh, a pen drive, maybe I format my drive or maybe uh, I install a new application. I install an application. OK, uninstall an application. OK, or maybe I log into my PC. I open an application. OK, so I install new drivers. OK, so I try to take a printout. So these are all events will occur. Some are uh, e information, some a uh, uh, warning type. Some are we are getting a errors. OK, information means usually it is a successful event. Successful type of event. Warning means disk is full. OK, uh, your uh, memory is full. OK, so you can see here it is CPU 100% utilization. So it is now it is less. OK, sometimes it will go to 100%, right? So CPU utilization is very high. Means more than 80% warning. Memory utilization is also very high. The available memory is very less. Your disk is also full. OK, so I'm showing in one single system. Think like, like this. We have a very big network. So it is my C drive showing red color. Means disk is almost full. OK, only 13.7 GB is available. So these are the things are warnings. Not enough space. OK, so these are comes under warning. Errors, errors usually uh, down. Your network is disconnected. Your uh, disk is failed. Okay, server is down. Okay, unable to access. Internet is disconnected. Backup failures. These are all comes under errors only. Is it started? Yes, it is. System, system related events, information. Okay, service control manager, kernel and stuff. Windows update related. See. What are the things happen at my system? But the, here it is. Warning is there. Detected unrecognized USB drive. Uh, USB drive. This is error. Okay, something Windows Defender error. So my system wise, what are the things are happen? Okay, operating system wise. It will shows here. Operating system hardware related. So kernel level uh, of a system. This is setup. Oh, it is taking too much time. Yeah, now it is application. Application is open. OK. What is this e center? Video user interface related the log format feature. 
could not be used due to current log information, something it is showing. OK. OK, something related to video UI, so display related. Laggy recovery kind of stuff. OK. Ending session one started. These are all uh, restart manager to show. So these are all uh, related to my application part of system. This is errors. Some service is not starting. So Bonzor service. OK, what is this Bonzor service? I think it is Apple related. So it is, so I said no, it is a Apple related kind of service. When you install uh, any iPhone, Apple related uh, applications, then also it will be installed. Okay. So that related service, it is got some error. So we can understand what is the event is occur and you have to do troubleshooting according to that error or you have to do things based on your warnings also. So it is some um, VL activation attempt kind of stuff it is showing. Uh, means VL means volume licensing. Volume licensing, licensing related issue is occur for some application. Okay. Started event, started event manager. So when it is occur, which time it is, what is the event ID, details you can see. So these are the all events only guys. This is login information. You open an application, you log into your system. Okay, you access certain things, it will show us information. So in this one, audit success, audit failure will show us. This is a setup related. These are all showing uh, installation of applications service starts, reboots, okay, like this. Okay. Warning. Okay, so I am checking in my system. And also I want to show you something from here. You can you see? So these are the services, applications, services. CPU utilization, memory utilization, disk utilization, network utilization, graphic card utilization. If you see performance, what is my CPU utilization, memory utilization like this? Okay. So someone send a message. Okay. Okay, guys, so this is one system. Think like this. I have a multiple systems, multiple infrastructures, parts. Okay, in my organization, I have a huge infrastructure, right? So to monitor, I can't go to each and every device. I can't go to each and every device. I may have a things like this. I have a servers. Okay, routers, switches, like networking components. Okay, firewalls. Okay, uh -huh. cables. Um, 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 different type of servers, of course. Okay, so like this, you have uh, some infrastructure in your piece. Systems. Regular systems are there. No? Systems, laptops, um, internet connectivity. Okay, internet connectivity, VPN connectivity. Okay, so what you have to do, you have to monitor what is happening to these things. Okay, applications, applications, servers, their hardware resources like a CPU, RAM, disk storage devices storage devices like nas and san okay 
Okay. Okay. So what it is? So we have to monitor what is going on with it. Anything is happened. Any anything like a server is up and running. You have taken a backup successful. Disk is online. So those events will be not down at a event monitoring place. Server is down. And the event will be created. Router is busy. Event will be created. Server is busy. Event will be created. A storage, uh, more storage. Uh, uh, um, the storage is full. Event will be created. Disk is offline. Event will be created. OK, so more users are trying to connect with the VPN. Events will be created means more than its capacity. More than given threshold limit. Threshold limit. Uh, simple understanding threshold guys. You have a desk. I said a threshold limit. If, if it is goes. 80% of disk is utilized. Better stop putting data inside. Delete unwanted data like that. OK, so I will do certain thing, but my limit is don't cross 80% of disk utilization. Send a warning. OK, event will be created. Disk utilization is occur 80%. OK, so 80% of disk is utilized. Warning will be generated. So you have to take necessary action once warning is generated. Guys, a warning is generated. A warning is generated, but you don't know this warning is generated or not. How you know this warning is generated? You have to set up a alert system. You have to set up a alert system. If 80% of disk is completed, Warning is generated. Send this warning to me through this alert system. So in your system, you will get a alert. Alert means notification. It notify you. 80% of this space is utilized. So then you can take some action after that one. OK, so for example, disk is failure. It is an error. It is an error. And this alerting system will send you a disk failure. Okay. Disk means you have a laptop or a desktop having one disk. Think like this. If you have a SAN kind of storage devices having a multiple disk, RAID controller, SAN, NAS kind of storage, centralized storage is having multiple disk. Okay. So that lot of history is there. So a lot of things are there. So we can't tell everything now. So when error is generated, it will it will be notify you through the alerting system only. OK, so events are just a note down any information of a related to your infrastructure. OK, OK, it can be um, um, a transaction successful successful event. Warnings, errors. It's generated and stored in the event management logs. Event management, so centralized event system. OK, how to see this event? Just I want to give a small demo from this op manager. It is a tool used to monitor. Monitoring purpose and understanding events and alerts. So simply just go through this link demo dot op manager. They are giving a, a demo. Uh, session so to for our understanding. OK, so this is a demo of manager.com. This is the administrator login. I'm logging as administrator. So first one. OK, it is simple guys. Any person can able to open this one. Important is if you don't understand anything from it, no problem. Just look at it. OK, for the first time it is confusion is there, but if you see if you keep looking at if you, you will try to understand, you will get to understand. OK, 
it's not like an ice cream, right? Okay, not even a rocket science also, which is very simple. If you see this, guys, are you able to look at properly? Yes, sir. If you see this one, see, this is world map, right? This is a world map. So what is this world map for, right? A, an organization, some organization, it is a, belongs to an organization having an infrastructure in different geographical locations. See it is, if these two are good, clear. No issues here, no issues here. Okay, this data center also, no problematics. But see here it is, there is some issues. There is certain issues, critical. These are some issues. In India also, there is issue, critical. Type is rack, India rack. Okay, India rack. Like this, this is another uh, issue it is showing. Okay, so by this world map, you will understand. So you are a global company, right? So organization means it not be in one place. It can be in a different places. And their data centers can be in a different places. So we can understand what is happen, what is the issue is there, not there is no issues, but issue is there, what is the issue? How many issues are there? You can try this one. Okay, it's a school site and there is uh, uh, problematic devices are 11 out of 30. 30 devices are there, 11 are in problematic. Okay, and this is a heat map which shows how much it is green means clear. Green means clear, but if you see this is a red one, means it's a critical part. Troubleshooting requirements, device is not monitored, service is down and attention is required for one device. So we'll understand from here what it is. Okay. Can you see guys, these are uh, different devices in their organization. There are servers are there, routers are there, switches are there, desktops firewalls, domain controllers, load balancers, wireless devices, van accelerators, UPS, printers, okay, storage devices, PDU, um, uh, something it is, ride, and of course another page is also there. So you go to 50 pages, then 50. So it is, there is a Meraki controller, <laughs> ESDN, URLs, you can see. These are so many devices, these are enter, infrastructure their infrastructure part we can see number of servers guys number of servers are 55 servers are there okay totally they have a 55 servers out of 55 servers there is they have 23 are in a problematic 23 servers are in a problematic different problematic and we received alarms 53 times we received alarms for these 23 problematic devices so how many devices 55 23 out of 55 23 are in a problem routers three routers are there two routers are in a problematic and we received alarm means alerting system will tell you there is a device having a problem and the details about a problem that is the alerting system will tell you some people use alarms for that switch 11 switches two are in a problematic three firewalls are there no problem no problematic things three are working good you can see this red color and check mark domain controller one domain controller that is in the problematic okay i have only one domain controller that is a server that server is in the problematic i received a two alarms printers two printers five unknown devices 28 ride controllers are there so ride devices 28 are working okay wireless access point are four wireless lan controller is one okay see even no problematic but I received a uh, alarm so something some small issue is there maybe it is so something it is a Meraki controller so two are there one is in problematic 
40 year olds to are in a parliament. OK. OK, this is a tree view means depends upon vendor. They grouped by vendor like a Cisco routers, Zuniper routers, Dell laptops or Dell uh, EMCs. EMCs like this. This is EMC. OK, HP uh, workstations. HP servers are there. Dell servers are there. Dell storage devices are there. So it depends upon the vendor wise. The list is there. OK. And here you'll also see it is a CPU utilization. Entire my servers CPU utilization. So servers devices, not only servers, my other devices also. But here it is showing first one is server. Utilization is 81%. That's why it is showing red color. It's 72, 60, near to 80. But 54 means 6 less than 60. It is good. Not a heavy demand. This is server busy kind of stuff. Sometimes you open a site, you know, olden days we get a server busy, network busy. Why? Because of more load on it, it become busy. You go to ATM, server busy, unable to dispatch. OK, so this is the thing. How to understand which one is having a server busy kind of stuff, this server. So then we have to do necessity things. We can see recent alarms. <coughs> Five critical alarms, two in troubles, three in need attention. So if you see this, I have a five critical things, which is in a showing in red color. These are the things. These are the devices or servers and their location, their group, what is their issue. And if you open, you will understand what it is. So you open this, you will get a details of this server. Okay. The details. Severity of a group uh, is a changed from clear to critical. OK, there are certain issues. In that. Workflow, not availability, other troubleshooting options also you will get it from here. OK. Like this, guys, you can monitor your in, when you monitor your infrastructure, the locks will be created and uh, we can able to see those locks, alarms. So then we can able to take a necessary action according to it. So these are all so many things are there. Memory utilization. Memory utilization server 13, 74 percent of memory utilization. Look at here guys. I am monitoring my PC. What is my CPU utilization, memory utilization, total disk utilization or individually CPU utilization, memory utilization, disk utilization, network utilization for my PC only, but in organization they have several servers, routers, switches, firewalls, domain controllers, so many devices are there. So what they will do, they will put a one monitoring system. They collect the information, put it on one dashboard. OK, so they present all the events and as well as a status of the devices on the screen. And also there is alerting system will tell you where exactly an issue is occurring. OK, it will notify you and tell you what is exactly happens. So this is the point, guys. Compulsory try to go through this link. OK, guys understand uh, what is a alert event and a monitoring. Monitoring separately will tell, but understand the use of monitoring also. Do you get the point? Umesh Adav just joined. Guys, are you able to hear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ask you a simple question that is, do you understand this event part? Event yes, sir. monitoring this one. Yes, sir. OK, good. Yes, yes. This different symbols you already know. OK, this is a warning symbol. Yellow exclamatory mark triangle. Red round with a white cross. 
that is error i with the blue background that is round i that is a uh, information green with the white check mark it is successful event okay so we already I told alarms and alerts okay so simple sent sentence only i am not written any additional Hello, input sir. yeah tell me yes sir uh, i have one question sir can i ask tell Hello. Yeah, tell me, tell me. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm asking uh, uh, how it is beneficial for a system desk uh, analyst uh, like uh, you are seeing uh, OP manager side and uh, uh, they, uh, they are checking because, uh, like yeah. uh, events. I got I got a question. OK, yeah. yeah. How this op manager and these things will help the service desk guys? You are the person who is actually maintaining infrastructure. OK, so of course, there's a one part. There is a one role. Which is attached to service. The service is not a simple one single role. It's not a simple and single role. It is there is a different levels are there. Different duties also there. And this is a telling. Not kind of stuff. It means a monitoring department. Also connect to this service desk because these people also do service desk related kind of stuff. These monitor these people will monitor infrastructure. If any issues occur, they note down and they will know. And these service desk people means this monitoring side service desk people will create a ticket and forward the ticket to the consenting team or they will resolve from their end. Okay. So NOC is. Um, I will tell you this is NOC. OK. So this is a knock engineers. OK, the call it is a knock engineers. What they will do, they will oversee everything. OK, deploy and uh, inspect IT network system oversees the safe installation of hardware and cabling system monitoring performance capacity of a computer system perform regular checks on a network hardware and software responsibility to network alerts and hardware malfunctions what is service desk will do any issues occur they have to either respond directly or first of all create a ticket and respond according to it right either they will resolve it depends upon their roles and responsibilities in the organization or they will escalate the issue to the people who are doing that particular job. OK, Dep depends upon the team. OK. So this is a knock engineering part, guys. Mm, dip, there is knock engineering also. Again, it is also one part of service desk. Not service desk, not service desk, but it's one part of service desk. Because service desk is just a word. OK. In IT, service desk is a one part. Just a word, that's it. OK, if any fail, if you want to fix something. There is an issue. Service desk involved. How you know a issue is occur? From either directly a client or a user or someone has to tell you now someone has to tell you there is an issue so one of the thing is monitoring okay so i think you got point so guys next one is incident again incident is also how you know there is an incident is occur one is from monitoring tools means from events and alerts your service desk people know issue is occur at your infrastructure while you are managing infrastructure service desk person can manage infrastructure or can be managed in applications can manage a uh, deployments can handle the customer issues so many things are there in the service desk 
OK. So if you are in the my, administrating the infrastructure related guy, your service is infrastructure management related. So you will receive a events and alerts. OK, so you receive event things or warning or a, um, um, a error or information to you through the alerting system. So you will get it. Once you receive something like a, like a warning or a, um, error, then what to do? So you'll create a ticket. We'll mention the details in the ticket. Either you resolve the issue or you will forward to the team. Either you resolve the issue or you will forward the consenting team. So they will take care of the issue. Sometimes you, you not everyone like a, there is a two categories I'm trying to tell. One is person who sits at system and try to resolve from there. Another one is person will go directly to the physical location and try to do things. OK, two people. But usually services means you sit at a system only. OK, this desktop support engineer, network engineers, um, server engineers. So they have a two type of duties. Either they will sit at system or they will go to the physical locations. OK. OK, so what is an incident? Unplanned interruption. I think you got the point. Unplanned interruption to the IT services called an incident. Unplanned interruption to the IT services. <coughs> Guys, just here try to understand one small thing. I have a server and uh, there is a client, right? What server will do? It provide a certain service, right? It will provide a service. What service? Web services, mail services, DHCP services, DNS services. Like it depends upon what server it is. It provide that kind of service. For example, if it is a web server, it is a web server. It provide a web services, right? If it is a mail server, it provide a mail services. See it is. I open a website. So I will going to open one website. That is w3schools.com website I open. So I got some information here. OK, I'm trying to open some page. So how I got this information here? I send a request to the server, server giving me information. OK, I want to check my mails. I go to gmail.com, yahoomail.com, then I will receive a mails, right? Different type of servers, guys. Some are web servers. It can be a mail server or like that. Think like this is the web server. I'm providing web services. So I'm providing some web pages. I have a web pages data is there. I have a pages here. If someone requested me and I will give you the web page. This is server and services. The question is. If this server is down, what will happen? Anyone? An incident. Very good. Uh, just normal I'm talking. Um, if server is down, what happened to client? The page will not open. Very good. It means service is also down. Right? Users cannot able to access website. OK, you know, sometimes uh, last time Facebook not worked, right? Facebook. WhatsApp is not worked for a certain period of time. OK, so like a user are cannot able to access the service. OK, so for us nothing is lost, but some people do business based on it. They will face the loss. OK, so what said it is server down service down. So it is an impact on a, our IT infrastructure. Now it is considered as an incident. So how to avoid these kind of situations depends upon the risk analysis. 
OK, so an organization they do risk analysis means what is the chance of a server is down, network down, disk down like this and they will create a certain kind of redundancy part. It means they will put a multiple servers. Server one, server two, server three, server four. All are in the same. Service all these four servers provide a same pages, same kind of service. All are web servers, all are web services. So a user requested for a web page. Any of the server will respond to the client. So what happened here? All are active. OK, all are active and uh, we'll get a service. OK, so for example, one of the server is down. What happened? Still I am getting service. OK, server down, service is not down. Still we have a safe base. All servers are down, problem is there. Just for our understanding guys, this type we call it as a failover. Failover. What is failover? One server is down, no problem. Other services will provide. Other service will provide a service. Next concept is load balancer. So number of users are increases more load than a single server. Okay, more load than a single server. If you have a single server, more load than a single server. We have a multiple servers. We share the load to other servers because all servers working together. OK, think like this. You have a Gmail or a Google. How many people are using per second? Google millions of people are using Google.com, right? Millions of people are using Google.com. OK. So if they maintain one single server, it will be burn in every second. <laughs> OK, millions of people are using Google Google services, right? So go, at least Google search. OK, so what happened? If they maintain single server, so server is completely busy 100% utilization. If you search today, tomorrow you will get a result. OK. So what they will do, they will put a multiple servers in different locations also they are putting. So whenever you search which one is near to you, which one is active and it will give you result. So why it is? What is that concept? Load balancer. Failover cluster. Failover or high availability. High availability means even a server is down, service is available. That's uh, just a normal meaning and for understanding guys. It means. 100% service will be available. So before as incident, I told this story again. I will tell this one guys. An unplanned interruption to the IT services. It means a server is down, service is down or maybe a network is disconnected. The service will be unavailable. And maybe a disk is offline or VPN is disconnected. You are unable to send and receive a mail. You are unable to log in. Your PC is not working. So these are all interruptions at your IT services. In general, it is important is IT services. You can ignore this point, but you very importantly understand interruption to IT services. Server down, service is down. How to prevent that by following Failover are a high, high available. OK, so follow the failover or high available. Even a server is down, service will be available. OK, even an, one network is down, another network connectivity will provide. In that one, not only a server, just I give an example in a server manner, there is high availability on a server's network and storage also we can able to 
implement high availability. Okay, server down. That is okay. So overall incident. When you consider, guys, remember any issue is occur. Any issue. It is an issue. Like a server down, service is unavailable, unable to send a mail, uh, mail server is not logging. Okay, your PC is not working, your internet is not working, your VPN is disconnected, or your disk is offline. These are all comes under incident types only. Okay, incident type only. Okay, whenever incident is occur, like a, you are a service desk person, you received a, a some issue report. Either through alerting system or maybe your client is told you I am unable to access the service. I am unable to access your server and I am unable to uh, connect a VPN. OK, the storage uh, is uh, like I unable to store my data as a storage disk is showing offline. So what to do? You have to consider that one as a incident. You have to consider that one as a incident. When incident is occurs, important is you have to fix it immediately. Why because of? Why because of? An issue is occur. Okay, if you a incident is occur, you have to fix it. Of course, there is a priority levels are there. I will tell the priority levels. Okay, and also I will forward one video to you. So then I will try. Priority levels are there, guys. Um, based on the priority, you have to react immediately. What is why we should go and fix it immediately? Because we have to stop further impact. You have to stop further impact. Simple thing, simple thing. General example, I'm telling. Your bike got puncture. Bike got puncture. So you continue journey or you do and very simple. Uh, patchwork. You tire got puncture. What to do? You'll find any nearest repairing center. Go and fix it, right? And continue journey. So you don't wait for a next day. We go to uh, main service center like uh, your uh, uh, company service center, okay? And find out what is happening. Investigate uh, police report. We don't do all these things, right? If some issues occur. Immediately we'll go and fix it, make it continue. Okay, and um, one more point I want to try to tell. Guys, do you understand what is the failover, load balancer, and high availability? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All point I will tell. Uptime. Downtime. I started my laptop at 10:30. Of course, finally I can able to work with at 11 o'clock. That is a different point. Think like this. No, no, don't go this. Morning, uh, uh, 9 o'clock, for example, I start my laptop. Still, it is running. This is uptime. The duration from last start when it is started and still it is running when it is start working from when it is start working and how long it is working this is called a totally uptime still it is working uptime now it is 12 o'clock still working it is uptime what is a downtime for example at 1 30 laptop is down Okay, so why it is occur again again? I will troubleshoot. Okay, and then at two o'clock, it start working. This period is a downtime period. This is uptime again. This is up and running. This is uptime. The duration of the service or a system or a device not functioning that is a downtime period downtime period it is in this period it is not working in this particular period of course downtime calculation is there uptime by downtime minus or uptime kind of so some calculation is there i'm not going that one for example 
24 by 7 service is available. 24 by 7 service available. 100 percent uptime. 0 percent downtime. You may hear this one when you go to something like you go to cloud. Why cloud? It is up 100 percent uptime. 0% downtime. OK, so I am uh, providing Amazon.com. Amazon.com 100% uptime. 0% downtime means so not even a single <laughs> in a throughout the year throughout the year. So per day. How much time it is down? In total year, not this kind of stuff guys. Today entire 24 hours. In totally in 24 hours, how much total downtime is there? That is a, called as a downtime time, time minutes wise. They will calculate hours and minutes. OK, for example, today 15 minutes it is downtime. OK, today. So tomorrow is a 30 minutes downtime. Day after tomorrow is a 10 minutes downtime. Yesterday is a five minutes downtime. So they will calculate every day how much downtime and totally in year how much is total downtime. So there is a calculation, but point is very simple. Uptime means from how long it is running from last start to still running. How long it is running downtime means the duration. How much time it is not working? How much? The period downtime period how much time it is not working like half an hour it is not working so point is we have to reduce this downtime so why it is work around come up any incident is occur guys we have to do work around what is a work around temporary way to overcome the issues yeah what is the temporary way to overcome the issues any issues occur we fix it immediately don't waste the time because of if you are uh, waiting downtime increases the town time period will be increases the period means so you can if you resolve in 30 minutes good if you resolve in 15 minutes good so up and running okay so for example it's a 130 issues occur I resolve in a 145 so this is uptime. This is a downtime. <coughs> OK, so now downtime is reduced. That period will be reduced and it is up and running. Service is available. OK, so that is the way better. We have to overcome the issues immediately and reduce the downtime and reduce the impact on a further infrastructure. Further infrastructure, further issues will be won't come. Just understand what I said. Incident, work around, uptime, downtime. OK, guys, this is a problem management. This is a problem management. Unknown root cause of one or more incidents. Unknown root cause of one or more incidents. It is very simple to understand, guys. Remember always any issue is occur. Any issue is occur. It is nothing but an incident. It is nothing but an incident. If in case a multiple incidents occur, similar kind of multiple incidents are occur, then this is an unknown root cause. Okay, there is a root cause, but we don't know what it is. So unknown root cause of 
multiple incidents uh, multiple incidents are occur so find forget about unknown root cause okay multiple incidents are occur then we have to consider that one as a problem this is one second one is there is incident is occur you resolve it and again same incident is occur same way again it is repeated again you resolve it again incident is occur so then what to do repetition of incidents these are a repetition of incidents then we have to consider if there is a problem either it is multiple incidents occurs at the same time a repetition of incident also we have to consider as a problem incident is occur in these two sense one and third one also we have to use unknown root cause also there okay find out a root cause of the problem okay any some incident is occur but we don't know what is the root cause of that incident why this incident is occur we don't know why this incident is occur so in that time you have to consider this we don't understand how to resolve this one let consider that one as a problem okay in any multiple incidents or a repetition of incident unknown root cause of either one or a multiple incidents we consider as a problem so generally any issues we consider as a incident only if it is a multiple incidents or a repetition of incident unknown root cause of incidents we have to consider an incident as a problem incident as a problem okay and next guys when pro when you consider it as a problem when you consider it as a problem we don't do any temporary overcomes we'll do permanent solution mouse 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 okay whatever it is we find at a permanent solution we find a permanent solution solve it once solve it is the incidents will be stopped once you solve incident will be stopped and you may require a change you have to change something in the problem management in the problem management you may require the changes so then we can able to fix issue permanently okay guys any issue is occur we take it as a incident up we fix the incident so issues is resolved but after some days or some time issue occur again again so consider that as a problem and also i told multiple incidents occurs same kind of incident is occur at a time that is also we consider as a incident as a problem issue is occur find a root cause to solve it permanently we consider the issue as a problem okay once problem is solved the number of inserts will be reduced or no more incidents to solve the problem we need a change maybe required a change management here i will give you one small example to understand how a incident is become a problem and how it is resolved okay this is just a, a point okay guys understand up to here can i tell this example yes, 
don't worry. Two more things. One is change. And service request. Once I completed this example, only one, two, three. OK, this one I will separately tell. OK. Because this are every point is very important to understand the meaning you should understand and how to do it is also understand. If you need any other material, like if next time you want to watch some material from YouTube, like someone is telling, uh, try to explain uh, how to do a service now or a, a BMC helix. So you will easily understand this wording. OK. OK, next uh, my personal suggestion, guys, if any chance, if any chance to learn. OK, either now or later, no need to worry now. OK. But if you any chance to learn now or later, learn these two technologies. First one is service now. It is a more demand technology, not a technology. It is a service desk related only, but both two parts. One is a, a, like a administration side and ITSM, ITSM side means IT service management side also there. OK. So there is a watch video, but there is no demo session. OK, so we cannot give you training on this one because it is the cost is there and at that to not a single user cost. It is a lot of cost is there. <coughs> Sign into existing business account. So you have to give your business email ID. That is we don't have. And we'll get a quotation. Okay. You can create your uh, own account like this. Okay. It's a very big kind of stuff. So this is a service now, guys. Director training is not available, I think so. Maybe we'll try to find something from it. Okay. So deliver ITSM as a single flat term, improve IT productivity. These are normal things, but how to work with the I service now? lot of uh, resources are available, but when you do what I'm telling the story is very useful. Next one is BMC. Helix ideas. This is already yesterday I told how to log into this one in a demo session. Okay. How to log into the uh, BMC Helix ITS. So you can try. Okay. This is you can practice very easily. Demonstration is available or you can try from any YouTube resources. Test services. One month free subscription is also available. Fresh service. Like this. This is a fresh service. is a fresh works under that one fresh services also there no coding service desk solutions manage engine service desk plus the dashboards and all it is <laughs> yeah, that is enough. Okay, fresh services. Another one. So, which one is you feel very comfortable? Any resources you find it, so then you can able to. Yeah, they change name to Freshworks. That's the point. Okay. So better try once. Okay, guys. So that is helpful for you and also Jira. Jira also good. Jira uh, desktop, Jira and uh, ITSM, Jira developer, those kind of stuff also. Okay. okay. Next one is. Uh, at, I said now I will give you an example. 
I have a PC. It is happened in our place, okay, in our in, uh, organization only. I have a PC. It is suddenly stop worked. Suddenly it is stop working. It is throwing an error also. Sometimes like a, it is throwing unable to find a bootable device or boot MGR missing like that on the screen. It suddenly stop working. Okay, it has suddenly stopped working. So what happens? Why it is not working? So we don't know exactly. So yeah, sorry, guys. It is suddenly stopped working. So one of the student like is sitting doing serious practical, and they said like a yes, server system not working. System is not working. So what I have done? So we don't have any separate supporting team for a classroom kind of stuff in our branch mainly, not in Hyderabad, okay, in Pune. Okay, so what I have done, I've opened this system cabinet, okay, and I disconnect a power connection. Remember, guys, when you are touching anything, internal parts of computer or a laptop, compulsory remove the all the power resources, all the power resources. Okay, compulsory. You have to remove all the power resources. Main power supply. You should disconnect this one. Okay, you have to disconnect. If it is a laptop, remove the power connectivity and battery also. When you're touching internal parts, when you're changing internal parts, when you're touching a connection, disconnection of internal things. Compulsory remove all power resources, power connectivities. Okay. Then what I have done, I remove all the cables because I don't know what is exactly happened that time. So I remove cables, RAM, and other uh, front panel connectivity like this. Okay. So I remove the cable and reinsert the cable things. And I start my PC. It is working. It is working. The first one is when system is stop working, that is instant. I done a workaround and uh, make sure it is working. Make sure it is working. Okay, next after two, three days again, System stop working. Then what I have to do? Same type of troubleshooting. Okay, and it is working. I then work around. So then it is start working. Again, again it is repeating. So then one day I consider this incident as a problem. What I have done? I know there is a problem. This hard disk to hard disk to motherboard connection. Hard disk to motherboard connection. Problem is there. That is a loose connection. Okay, it is a loose connection because I got an error. Unable to find a bootable disk. Bootable disk uh, not available. I get it. Unable to find a bootable disk. So I got a doubt. It is a hard disk related. And also I got it out on this cable. So what I have done, I change this cable. What I have done, I change this cable with a new one. So then issue is resolved and I don't get a this type of incidents again. I didn't get a this type of incidents again. OK, same thing I've written. One piece is I got a problem that is considered as incident. We disconnect all power cables. Check um, PC system connections. SMPS power, hard disk power connections, data connections, RAMs, everything get disconnected and then I connect it back and turn on the power. It is working. It is working. Now, Again, the issue is repeated. Now I have to consider this issue as a problem. 
okay and we have to find a root cause of this problem what is the root cause of problem is data cable means the hard disk data cable sata data cable loose connection then i change the cable and uh, i connect uh, everything back now the issue is not occurring again means problem is solved this is the relation guys incident and problem initially it is incident then it can be become a problem and i use a change to resolve my problem also guys understand this point change management Okay, problem management. Next one is change. This change is very important in organization, guys. If you are in the change management, several things you have to be careful. You have to be careful. Okay. So here it is. What is exactly change means? So I need a. small space to up this one mm what is this change okay now it is enough space what is change means you do update you update your system you update your mobile you upgrade your mobile mobile operating system or you replace the ram or you insert a new ram like i have a 4 gb ram in my laptop i add 8 gb then it become at 12 gb upgradations when i purchase this laptop that is windows 8 then it is upgrade to windows 8.1 windows 10 okay and replace of course you have a old hard disk you want to replace new hard disk you are a hard disk you want to replace with ssd okay you are not working ram is there you replace with a new ram these are all comes under changes all the guys upgrade or a replace is a check availability to do any upgradations or replacement you have to check the compatibility for example my laptop is ddr3 i want to upgrade to ddr4 not compatible not compatible i can't do that one sometimes certain changes also having a dependent changes means you do some changes here it may require to change other kind of stuff also okay you have to compulsory make sure the dependency changes also one change may lead it to another changes so that is like a dependency changes also there before you do any changes guys you have to test before you do any changes okay don't do changes blindly if you do any changes compulsory have to take a permission from your change advisory board okay and you have to document what are the change you have done whether it is a simple update or upgradation or replacement whatever the change you have done you have to document it and inform in the configuration management database mdb okay configuration management database cmdb it is a database which having information about entire your organization okay entire your organization organization related things means what is your project what is the your services customers and issues the service availabilities all this information in your cmdb change management sorry sorry configuration management database any thing happens that will be in the cmdb okay so this is a total database of entire your organization related service related project related like that this database is there okay 
updation upgradations this is not update okay this is also upgrade replacement i want to replace my i3 processor with i5 processor how to depends upon motherboard and the budget is also important guys i3 processor is a lesser cost i5 processor is double the cost right i3 for example it is a 8000 i5 it is a 16000 okay so, so cost difference is there budget which has to be important for example last time i want to increase my internet capacity i'm getting 50 mbps i want to upgrade it to 100 mbps i want to upgrade it to 100 mbps ask my guy so i want to upgrade my internet to 100 mbps then how to do it what is the difference bill payment difference 50 mbps for example 700 100 mbps definitely 900 at least maybe 1000 rupees triple nine is there you know geo also same thing right 699 is for a 100 mbps 150 is a triple nine okay so that is like a 649 i think 649 or 699 geo okay bill difference is there payment difference is there cabling may be difference is there the router modem may require to change you may to maybe require to change your wi-fi uh, or a, a router or a modem kind of stuff so my wi-fi router is older one so i have to increase my router. so i want to increase uh, from 50 to 100 mbps there is a dependent changes means i have to change my router uh, there is a payment there is a cable charges again it is there guys one change may lead to another change that is called dependency changes sometimes but to do any changes you have to check the compatibilities test before you changes document it and inform in the cmdb there is one more point in the change management that is emergency changes and normal changes Okay, so first one is emergency change. For example, service down. You go and check it. There is a server is down. Server RAM is failure. What to do? Immediately you will go and change the RAM. Right? Or maybe disk is failure. What to do? Immediately we will change the disk. Okay, a cable is down. This cable is not working. Yeah, and you will put a different cable. And maybe a switch is there and it is will change the switch why we are doing emergency changes okay without following a full cycle of change management why because it is emergency you have to fix it immediately so then it less inf impact on a, your infrastructure or a business but guys for example a disk is failure you replace the disk and verify it is working or not and notify to your cmdb or a cab change advisory board and document it what changes you have done okay document about a, that incident what has happened what document it that is very important remember guys document is very important okay it is helpful for your you and your organization also normal changes for example, guys, you, you have a bike. Suddenly, uh, something like you want to change the engine oil. Maybe bike seat, you want to change it. Not emergency, right? Those are not emergency. If you don't do it now, you will get a problem. Nothing. Else. Brake wire is damaged. Clutch wire is damaged. Emergency change. Think like that. Okay? The brake, brake wire is got damaged. So you cannot put a brake, right? Immediately you'll go and put a new wire, right? That is emergency change. Okay. Uh, if in case, like you want to change your seat cover or you want to change engine oil, 
they are not a uh, emergency changes just normal changes in normal changes we'll keep it in mind first is budget and dependency changes compatibilities compatibilities test before apply changes test before apply changes or applying changes take a permissions or discuss with the cab change advisory board okay so this is in a normal changes you need to anything you want to do update upgrade or new installations new infrastructure are going for that one okay so compulsory you have to check the compatibilities budgets dependencies components availabilities test before you changing okay and also discuss with your cab and take a permission then only you can do changes in normal changes only we check the compatibilities component availability and do change test it make sure it is working and notify to your cab and document it notify to cab and as well as a cmdb cab is a people group of people Guys, understand change management because I'm telling last one. Guys, understand what is change management? Yes, sir. Compulsory read it, guys. Compulsory read it. And try to speak like uh, you know the best way of learning and best way of uh, uh, remember, understand, tell some, tell things to others. You know while you know that is we are missing as adults, the kids will do that one. Okay, that is the kids will do when whatever they learn in the school, like they learn a poem or a something rain they learn today. What they will do, they come to school from the school and tell to the people like, so this is I learned today and start telling about it. Now that excitement is died because of this. Uh, I don't know, not because of because of people are everybody busy with their mobile phones, including parents, children and everything. Okay, so as an adults, we, we forget about that kind of stuff. Now, actually, we don't require a person to tell, okay? Even you can tell to your computer or a wall or a, you know, you can create an Instagram reel. Okay, Instagram reel, that's what you learn and try to explain in the Instagram. At least you will get some quick uh, kind of uh, <laughs> reviews. Okay, so instead of putting your dancing videos and uh, stunt videos, okay, you learn something today and practice it. Okay, try to explain in the Instagram. At least to least try that one, guys. So that will you will get a little enjoyment also entertainment with the likes and subscribes. OK, so. OK, the last one is service request. So there is a again caution is guys incident and service request incident and service request two things from the people. OK, what is service request usually from user only? Incidents may occurs. Incidents may be notified by a monitoring system, alerting system, or from the client or a user will tell you this is an issue. Okay, but service requests generally by from users only, either directly or through mail or uh, anyway. How they reach the service desk? What are the way it will be reached to service desk? But it is raised by users means user client or a. Um, a customer okay it is request from customer for information advice or standard change they require or for uh, it access access to it services for example i came to office i want an internet connection i have an internet 50 mbps internet at home i want to increase to 100 mbps i want to work from home i want a vpn access maybe i want to take a print i want a Printer access. I want a database server access, maybe like this access in kind of stuff. I, my, I forget my password. I want to change my password. 
I want a email connectivity. I want a email configuration, Outlook configuration. I configured myself Outlook. You know, there is a employee is a non IT background. Is using a computer, but not a IT tech part, right? Lot of people working in different organizations are there. They're using IT resources, but they don't have a IT knowledge, right? They don't know how to configure Outlook. They will request. I want to configure a Outlook on my PC. OK. Like that, so that is all our service request only change of services, upgradation of systems. So I'm initially using a 8 GB RAM. Now my workload increases. My RAM capacity is not enough. I want to increase my RAM to 16 GB. So then service request. OK, guys. Sorry, service request. Either they will ask for information or advice, or maybe they will ask for changes or for a accessing permission. We will get through service test. I told a simple example already. OK. So uh, I want. Example, guys. I want Internet. But it is service request. My internet not working. The internet is down. But it is incident. See, it is both are same. Okay, the wording is different. Okay, both are same. Look like same. I want uh, what I want email access or uh, Outlook configuration. Service request. My Outlook not working. Okay. Uh, unable to send. OK. So this is to make sure uh, uh, understand about a incident and a service request. OK. Guys got the point or not? Yes, sir. Got it, sir. Very good. Yes, sir. Very good. OK, so take a small break, guys. Um, there is a few small, small things are there uh, that is I will add it. So importantly, like uh, uh, yeah, monitoring tools. Uh, this part I will tell. And very small part is there about a service ticketing. Um, that is also I will tell. Yes, any ticket, the ticket having a priorities. In the instant type of tickets having a priority list. So the priorities will tell in a priority and uh, impact. So these priorities actually in the names like a P1, P2, P3, P4 priorities. P4 means actually it is a low priority. P3 is actually medium priority. This is high priority. Even means very high priority. Some people say it depends upon organization or we can say urgent. And each priority depends upon issue, guys. Depends upon issue. So you have to calculate priority and impact. Based on that, we have to decide what kind of it is. Okay. Depends upon the impact. 
of a incident depends upon the the prior, the level of incident okay so you have to decide the priorities p1 usually uh, it will be resolved in 15 to 30 minutes p2 is one hour p3 is like a one day or p4 is there the timeline is there that is uh, always confused okay you can say SLA priorities. Okay. These are the SLA priorities. Critical, high priority, uh, urgent kind of stuff. A system is down, service is down, high priority. Service is available, but server is down. Okay, then P2. Service is available, but server is down, then P2. Okay. A system, normal user system is not working. P3. Okay. Like that, it will be there. Priority one, it is a critical like this. You got already SLA. Uh, something labels. It is. Now all it is displayed uh, the uh, example part. This is like this standard and premium SLEs. Two hours respond like that. It will be there. Okay. Uh, I said now I will forward a video. Then I will try to give you that one. Okay. That's it, guys. And uh, take a break. Come back. No break, it is <laughs> a very less time. Yeah, read it, these things today, guys. The questions it is, I will tell. So directly, I will give you a lunch break time. Okay, just uh, 10 minutes. I'll give you lunch break time because it's already one o'clock. The questions, compulsory questions. What is service test? So tomorrow we'll continue. So today I will tell a important question. What is service desk? What is service desk analyst? What is service desk analyst? Okay. Types of customers. Control no? internal and external. Two type only there. Added another one, third one. Okay. So two type of customers. Okay, two type of customers, type of customers. For, uh, I think. Of course, what is ITL is also there. Uh, I'm not telling that one now. So if you want, you can try. Mm. Uh, what is uh, another one? What are the IT services? Service days. Tools, monitoring, is monitoring and uh, tools. <coughs> okay. Tools, tools used for a month. Okay. Everything like event, alert. Incident, problem, change, workaround is also there. Service request. And incident. And service request. Or a request will fill in. Okay, service reference. of tickets how to handle ticket. handle a ticket 
I am putting all the things how to handle customer. The incident. This is a just general part. So anything, so on kind of stuff. What is the ticket type? There are incident priorities. Instant array priorities. How to generate a ticket, how to escalate a ticket. This is general, general points only. Okay. Okay, these are the major uh, questions, guys, from your service test. One or two questions are so there. Okay. Yeah, uh, we forget this. What is SLA? What is SLA? Service level agreement. Of course, OLA UC is also there, but I told only SLA. Okay, SLA is major, OLA and UC also there, but I just am giving what is SLA. Okay, types of SLA is also there, types of <coughs> service desk is also there. Okay, so many things. Uh, that is for uh, today, it is enough, guys. Because I given yesterday and today a lot of things. Please read it. And I said uh, I will forward one video just uh, once we completed. I will forward that video also. It is not listed in the YouTube. Okay, that is uh, have a video that is not listed means you can't access directly. Okay, by link only you can have to access. Okay, that is also will uh, share it to you. So it is a mm -hmm. service test demo by Sai processor. This is the one. This is already I shared this link. So compulsory try to practice BMC ITSM. Uh, and this is um, not having any description, but it is. Do not share this link to anyone, guys. It is okay. okay. Compulsory watch it, guys, because of in that video, in the in the in the in that video. It is how tickets will be generated. What are the tickets? What is service desk analysis will do it? Uh, how to check the tickets? Everything is explained very clearly by service desk analysis person only and size processor. Both OK. <laughs> and also op manager explanation is also there. So compulsory watch it. Don't think it is a time waste. Okay, it is very important. So then you will understand better as compared to just theory. Then also read okay, one. OK. Now you have a time night. Laterally, you don't get a time. That's what I'm trying to say. That's it for today, guys. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Thank you, guys. Thank you for being there. Okay. Thank you, sir.